this video, you're going to learn about Twilio and how to use it to send out surveys in REDCap. Twilio is a third-party program that allows you to send survey invitations as an SMS text message or as a voice call. In specific circumstances, it will also let you to send even the survey itself as a text message or a voice call. Twilio is not a free service, but it is a fairly inexpensive one. Phone numbers are generally $1 a month to rent, Text messages go out at a rate of three quarters of a cent per message, and voice calls themselves are also only a few cents. You do have to pay for the services, but it's cheaper than putting a stamp on an envelope. Twilio is secure to use, but you should be extra sensitive about PHI and sensitive information when you're using Twilio. When you send your invitations, think about everyone who might have access to your participant's phone. To get set up, the first thing you're going to do is go to twilio.com. Here, sign up or log in and the first thing you're going to need to do is go to billing and set up a payment method. You can use a credit card or PayPal to do this. After you've done that you'll want to go back to your console and the first thing you'll need to do is to buy a phone number that you can use to send your text messages and make your voice calls from. Phone numbers cost as a general rule one dollar per month to rent. You can do this by going to buy a phone number here or by scrolling down to phone numbers here. Under buy a number, you can specify the country you want the phone number to be from. If you have any specific digits or phrases you want to be in the phone number, you can include those and search for that. Or you can search for the phone number to be from a certain location. So I want to make sure I get a Denver number. Then you can specify any special capabilities you want the phone number to be able to make. When you click search, it will bring up a list of phone numbers that meet your criteria. You just pick the one that you want and then click buy to rent the number at $1 a month. The next thing you'll need to do is to turn off the request inspector feature. You can do this by going back to the console, selecting programmable voice, going down to settings, and making sure that request inspector is disabled under voice settings. The reason you have to do this is that the request inspector will log requests and responses made during calls. It saves the data on Twilio's server and it's therefore not HIPAA compliant. You'll have to turn it off before you can use Twilio in REDCap. Now that we have Twilio set up, we'll need to enable it in REDCap. In your survey project, scroll down to Enable Optional Modules and Customizations and click Enable or Modify next to Twilio SMS and Voice Call Services for Surveys. In enabling Twilio in REDCap, you'll need to choose to, turn, to enable it or you can turn it off. And you'll need to copy over your SID and authorization token from the Twilio. You can find them on your console dashboard. Please keep in mind that your authorization token is functionally a password and should not be shared. You'll then copy and paste in the Twilio phone number that you have rented and you'll check to make sure that the request inspector has been disabled. You can always check it again. Now that you have Twilio enabled in REDCap, we're going to configure the Twilio settings for surveys. First, you'll want to pick the language and gender being used for your calls. You've got a huge range of options here, such as American or UK English, Spanish, French, German, Italian, and they have variations here for, for example, Spanish from different Spanish-speaking countries. Next, you'll choose a survey invitation type to use. The first option is to send the survey invitation with a survey link via SMS. With this option, MidCap would send an SMS text message to your participant containing a link where they can go take the survey on the web. Next, you can do the survey as a voice call. So one option here is to initiate the survey as a voice call and then take it that way completely. If you do that, all of your answers will have to be numeric or multiple choice, something where people can key in their responses using a touchpad phone. You can send the survey invitation via SMS message to take the survey as a voice call where the respondent calls you, or you can send the survey invitation via SMS to take the survey as a voice call where the respondent receives a call after replying to a text message. Finally, there is the option to take a survey as a text message conversation. This is not considered a secure way to collect data. It will be logged with the participant's phone and potentially with Verizon, AT&T, whomever they're using as their service. 
Because of this, you have to get administrator approval and you can't collect PHI and you shouldn't collect sensitive information when doing this. Next, you have to decide whether you want to automatically append response instructions to questions. If you select yes, REDCap will automatically add instructions like press 1 after presenting an answer choice like chocolate. This can be quite useful if all of your surveys are going to go out via text message or via voice call, but it will just create confusion if your surveys are going to go out via multiple mediums. Maybe some participants will get emails and some will get text messages. In that case, it's recommended that you do not append it. If you don't append it, then you will have to include some level of instructions to make sure that the survey is comprehensible to your participants. It's a good idea to test your survey by sending it to yourself first. You'll need to choose the default invitation preference for new participants. This could be an SMS invitation, where they just get the survey link, where they take the survey via SMS, an email invitation, a voice call, an SMS invitation where they get a phone number to call, or an SMS invitation where they reply via text message to receive a voice call. Just like you can designate a specific email field to populate the participant list, you can also designate a specific phone number to populate the participant list as well. For example, here I'm capturing the cell phone number field I have in my project. Just like with the email setup, this will have to be a text field that you validated as a phone number to show up on the drop-down list. Finally, you need to choose the behavior for overlapping SMS invitations. If you've got a project with multiple surveys, you'll need to choose the default behavior for when the participant has received the invitations to multiple surveys at the same time. If this happens, you can set things so that only the most recent invitation works, so that they must take the surveys in the same order as they receive the invitations, or that they can choose what survey to take next. If you want your participants to be able to take your surveys via SMS message or via voice call, then the entire survey must be made up of numerical answer choices that they can answer by pressing a button on a touchpad phone. REDCap will help you analyze your surveys to make sure that they're set up so that they can be used with Twilio. To check this, go to Analyze Surveys for SMS and Voice Calls. Here, it'll tell you all the potential survey issues for each survey in your project, and it will let you see what the actual issue is with each survey error that it finds. Now that you have Twilio set up in REDCap, you'll need to decide how you want to send it out. To do this, we're going to go to Manage Survey Participants. Your first option for sending out your Twilio survey is by using the public survey URL. The public survey link will function the exact same way it does in a regular REDCap survey project. It'll be one link that all the participants go to, and all the answers that come back will create new records in the project, which will be anonymous. It also means that this has to be the first form in your project, and that first form has to be a survey. You'll send it out to your participants by inviting them down here on the Invite Participants Now button. You'll just enter one phone number per line, just like you'd enter email addresses on the participant list, and enter a custom message that the participants will receive that will also contain the link. Please note that invitations are sent out in real time, so if you're sending out a number of invitations all at once, it may take a couple of seconds to send each one. Your other option is to use a participant list. With the participant list, we can see that we now have a few new options. We have a new column here, Invitation Preference but we can say if a subject's preference is to receive their invitation via email or via text message. When we add new participants, you can add them by including their email, their phone number. If you have the identifier enabled, you can put that in here as well. You have to have at least an email or a phone number entered to put someone on the participant list. You then can also set the default preference for each group of participants that you add. So if you have one group of participants that want to be contacted by email and one that group that want to be contacted by text message, then the best way to work with it is to enter your email people all at once and set their preference, and then enter your text message people in another batch and set their preference. 
When you compose the survey invitation, most of it is exactly the same, only now we have a new option, Invitation Type. Here we can choose if we want to use a participant's preference, send it to everyone in this batch as an email, or send it to everyone in this batch as a text message. A similar setup applies to automated invitations. Again, everything is set up exactly like it is for a regular survey invitation, only again you have this invitation type where you can choose how to send it out. One of the best ways to get started with Twilio is to sign up and just put a small amount of money in your account and then work through this tutorial and the instructions and start experimenting with, the, with what the experience is like to receive your survey link in different ways and to take your survey in different ways. This will help you to decide what the best approach is for you and your project.